name is Ham Donishman. I'm here today with another series of videos for Verisys. And today we're going to talk about the Smart Equipment Simplicity Equipment Controller, which is what we call SSE. And this is one of the devices or components of the Verisys architecture. Uh, these particular controllers are within our rooftops. They're embedded controls. They're part of the smart equipment technology. And different brands of our equipment, like York or Johnson Controls, does have this particular controller in it, and which is fully compatible with the Verisys system. So today I want to go through and show you the wiring of the SSC controller and what you have to do possibly in the field uh, to make the connection that's necessary. Typically, if the rooftop controller uh, or the rooftop itself was not uh, selected as a backnet rooftop as one of the options, then the actual uh, daughter, daughter board that we have on top of the controller, which is this particular small little daughter board you see here, uh, it may not be installed in the field. So this is a field uh, retrofit type of a kit and you can order that after the fact, um, but sometimes it does come with a rooftop. The actual part number for the, uh, uh, the COM board itself is SE, as in Sam and Egg, dash COM 1001-0, or if you're ordering it from source one, uh, just put a SE in front of that, so that's a SE, I'm sorry, put uh, uh, source one part number, so it's a S1, dash SE uh, dash COM 1001-0. So fairly simple. Uh, obviously this is a bench set up here, but it would be very similar to what you would have in the field. Uh, so if I w had that controller, which comes in a small little box, uh, this little daughter board plugs right on top of the main board. It has a pen header in the back. You just got to be careful you line up the header with the pens and you plug that in right into the controller. Obviously, the, the rooftop has to be turned off while you're doing this, and you turn it back on, and then what you should see is the power light coming on on the bottom, this green light that you see here. So from a wiring perspective, uh, and also within the box, it comes with our uh, spade connector that you see on top here. It may be white or it may be gray. Sometimes it's in a three position or it could be four position. So in the three position that I have in here right now, when you plug that in, uh, you have on the top pin where I have my red wire going into, that is what we call our FC plus. So that's, that's our plus sound of our backnet MSDP port. And then the next pin is your FC minus. So that's your negative side of the MSDP port. And then you have what we call the COM and typically we use a white wire to do that. So our configuration and our typical standard in the field is red, black, and white for your plus, minus, and com. The last pin is a shield. It's uh, depending on the configuration of the network, the length of the wire. Um, we do recommend a shield wire, but in most cases you could basically get away with a three-wire communication. So this plug goes in here, and then you got your wire connection. And before I connect that to any part of other part of Versa system, I need to make sure the addressing and the configuration of the backnet controller itself, which this is, this is the backnet controller. So two ways to do this. Today we're going to be showing you through the onboard display, which is the quickest and the easiest way uh, from my perspective. Uh, but there are people out there that use what we call our MAP device and connect it into this RJ11. And this will be another video series possibly we cover later. And through the MAP device, you can actually connect with your phone and do the configuration that you, that's necessary from a backnet communication. So the only really thing that you have to worry about, because in most part, all the backnet configuration is automatic. It's already set for you. The only thing you really have to worry about here is the address of the controller. So since this is a very small system, this, I have a one-to-one -one here. I'm going from the smart equipment controller to the, uh, the building hub, which we're going to be showing you for the, smart, uh, for the Verisys building hub. So I'm just going to address this as four. The default address coming out of the factory is four. So you do have to be careful with that in the field. 
If you have conflict within addresses, you've got to make sure you fully understand your architecture and then address your con controllers cor correctly. So it could be a five, it could be a six, it could be a seven, uh, or, or, or on up. Uh, in, in this case, I am sitting on the what we call our main bus, your FC bus. So for today, I'm just going to leave this, or actually I'm going to change the address from 4 to 5 so you could see it. So I'm going to walk you through the menus here. And you can see here, I could go into the top layer, which usually you'll, you'll see the status as your top layer. And you have a little joystick on the bottom that you could go, go up and down, uh, you could go left and right. So I'm going to go right, I'm going to go all the way down to what we call controller. I'm going to hit my enter button here, and that takes me to the level two of the menu structure. And then I'm going to take it down to what we call network. I'm going to hit enter again. Now these are some of the backnet settings here. So I, ha I, do, I don't have to do anything with the BAS comp. This has already been set for me. If I click on it, it'll tell me it's backnet. I'm going to go backwards now. You could put a description there if you wanted to. Your comp status is there. There's your FC uh, bus mode. You could change this mode to be different. In this case, it's already from the factory as a wired field bus for your BACnet MSDP. And where we need to go is the address. There's your address. I click on that. So the default value is four. I want to change that. I want to change that to a five. You should see it's sitting there blinking, waiting for me to make the enter. So when I hit the enter button, now you see it switches back to four. Give it a few seconds, and it'll switch right back to five. And then you know the address is correct. And there it is. The address is five now. So I'm done. I've set this controller. You, you don't even have to push the back button if you want. You just leave it as that. I just did the back button. So again, I have a very short distance here. I've already made a connector. There's my connector that's going to go to my smart building hub. I have my red to plus, black to minus, white to my com. And uh, if we could zoom in into this section of the video, and there's my smart building hub is ready to go. My power light is up. My Wi-Fi is ready to go, which I'm actually connected to my iPad that I'm going to show you. And I'm going to go ahead and make my connection. So it's connected now. And then now if you could come back down to the iPad and five already has come in. It already discovered it. I made the full connection here. And if I click on that now, I will go into my first home screen of the rooftop, which is basically our circle that's going to show you what is the status of the rooftop and what is it doing. And there's many different, uh, ob obviously, options that could go into from a rooftop perspective. Right now, I know I have full connection ready to go, and I can move on to my next device. This ends our video for this session. Hope you could come back with the next video. Thank you.